Hello everyone and welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be continuing our chain reaction game. So, so far here is what we have. We have the cloning and the spawning of the dots and we have them moving across the screen. And uh, we have the starting dot so that it gets larger when you click. So right now we have this. Okay, so first we're going to go to other dots and so let's go into the other dots and when I receive start game forever if the game stop, so let's make a new variable called game stop. And if game stop is equal to yes, yes. Then we'll stop all other scripts. Stop other scripts in, sp in the sprite. So now let's get a when I start as clone and repeat until it's touching the edge. Let's, um, if dots left is less than one then we'll delete this clone and if player dot down is equal to yes and then and and then let's get when I receive start counting forever if dots left so just duplicate this and then inside set game stop to yes Now, in the repeat until touching edge, if it's touching the color of the starting dot, so let's press the green flag and then select the eyedropper. And now you should select the color. If the touching color this and the player dot down is yes. So player dot down is yes. So if then let's upload a new sound and search crunch. And Let's start the sound crunch and switch the costume to the last one, which should be the gray one. Now let's change dots left by one. And let's make a new variable called score. and also change score by one score now let's go into the starting dot and drag this part in here so now we should have copied it into here and drag it below 
into the if condition. Now right here, let's set the score to zero. And let's set GameStop to no. And also set the size to 50%. And let's hide. So as you can see, dots going around right here. And if you click, yours should get larger. And then everything disappears when there are no more, no more dots. So let's try it again. And if the dots touch your dot, they get part of the, the dots. So also when that, those dots touch your dots, your score goes up. Okay, it's good. So now at the end, it should display your score. So let's change this to a large readout and drag it down here. And let's hide the other ones. So now let's make a new spray and let's call it score. Score. And then let's just have it n name them one, and then it should be one. And then let's center this. Now let's duplicate this and then change this to two. And do this all the way to 9, and then change this to 0. So right now I'm making a new costume and naming it 0 and typing 0. Good. So now let's go into the code, and let's make a new variable for this sprite only, and name it clone. So when the green flag is clicked, let's set clone to zero and let's repeat 10, change clone by one, and then creating a clone. So then after that, we hide. And then when I start as clone, forever, if else, if the GameStop equals no, GameStop equals no, then let's set the size to 100. And then let's go to X clone number clone times let's see twenty minus 150 and then y is negative 160 and now if the length of score if if else the length of score is less than 
clone number, clone. Then let's hide. So hide. Else, then let's show. And then let's switch costume to letter clone of score. So let's hide all the variables. And as you can see, it works. Oh, change this to plus 150. So as you can see, the score right there, and maybe we could sit, set it a little bit larger, 200%. Yes. And now if you place the dot down, the sound plays, and your score goes up. And now you have that. So when you lose, so I'll just set dots left to zero. So you've lost now and let's set the size now to 400%. Let's go to x clone times 55 and let's go minus 55 y0 and it should show your score right here so if they're too far apart then you can just lower this 40 40 Okay, now let's duplicate this, and then let's name it high score. And now let's make a cloud variable and name it high score. So let's drag high score in there to replace score and drag this into the if and let's replace this with hide and let's also go to 20 minus 55 um, and y negative 155 and let's make another backdrop and we'll have it saying that the high score is that high score so now that we start we should when i receive start game forever, if else, game stop is yes, then we'll switch the backdrop to the second one, then else, then we'll switch the backdrop to the first one, so, okay, change this to yes. So now it should work, and if we lose, the score and I high score should show. And now, when I, when the game stop is no, so when forever 
if the game stop um, equals yes and the score is more than the high score Then let's set the high score to the score. Okay, so let's hide high score. And should work now. So if you place it in the corner and the high score is zero. And now if we get a higher score than zero, the high score should be set to that score. So now it works. Okay, I'm just going to stop it. And see, the score is now 55, and the high score is now 55. So make sure to love, to like the video, and subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, and. Yeah, okay. And see you guys next time.